Just off Railroad Avenue in downtown Snoqualmie sits a building with some history. When it was built in 1929, it was a bank, then became a police station, then it served as City Hall. Now, it's home to a Cascadian barbecue joint, Buckshot Honey. Ever since I was a little boy listening to my mom's like country records, I, I always had this like desire for an old country honky-tonk, you know? And this is kind of the closest thing you can get to it these days. Buckshot Honey is the brainchild of chef owner Dave Storm. Go big or go home. Who we first met back in 2019, working on a food truck with his buddy, Chef Seth Richardson. The name of this place, a nod to the most memorable meal Dave ever ate on a trip to West Virginia to visit his great aunts. They told me they were gonna go get some dinner. They grabbed some shotguns and they went in the woods. Came back like three hours later with a handful of squirrels and they cooked them up for me and they served the squirrels whole on these plates but there was these empty bowls in front of the plates. And I was like, are we gonna have soup? And they go, that's for the buckshot, honey. No, there is no squirrel on the menu here. Instead, Dave's combining his restaurant experience, more than 20 years spent in top spots all over Seattle, with his love of traditional cooking methods, the way folks used to do things decades ago. Some of the best things I've ever eaten are just like 100-year-old recipes that have been passed down. And I just don't see people doing that anymore. So I found an old uh, cookbook of my grandmother's and I found a bunch of really cool recipes, so I kind of interpreted those with, you know, modern, some, some techniques that you learn in the, uh, on your way up, but um, made it more efficient for the restaurant business. Not as much lard as the 1948 recipe usually calls for. At Buckshot Honey, just about everything is sourced locally. The sides made from scratch, and the meats smoked low and slow then served as a serious sandwich. I'm actually proud of the Day on the Green, which is a, uh, it's a local ham, and it's brined in juniper and clove and then smoked over hazelnut shells. It's also uh, served on brioche from Macrina, so you can't really go wrong with that. Collard greens, Havarti cheese. The top seller, a holdover from his days on the food truck, the Dave's Way, 12-hour smoked brisket, grilled onions and peppers, and provolone cheese whiz. Oh yeah. You know, I've had the Dave's Way once before, but it is even better the second time. For Dave, Buckshot Honey is the realization of a dream. A friendly place serving good food made the old way. He hopes customers will be able to see and taste the difference. I want them to realize like this is the way we used to cook before there was Hot Pockets. <laughs> you know, like, over an open fire, taste the smoke, the vinegar from the pickles. And this is the way I like to cook. So this is the way, I, this type of cooking belongs in the mountains. For Seattle Refined, I'm Brandon Bernstead. Is there a restaurant you want us to check out? Let us know at hello at seattlerefined.com.